So hello there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today I want to talk a little bit about the importance of staying alive as a CT player, especially when you're trying to play for a retake. So I do not often see people do this, but it's actually a viable tactic that you should consider every now and then. So let's say we're a CT right here on A, just in between the E and the Y right here, and you're able to smoke A main like this. And it's pretty a, a pretty good start if we're just going to hold our side like this. Now you could be playing default, or NBK or even quad. Now, if you want to play for a retake, or just in general, that's kind of a mentality that I have, and it's probably because I'm very often AWPing, and as an AWPer, you kind of try to fall back every now and then after every shot, and it's basically the same thing just applied to rifling as well. So if you're just holding your spot, NBK is probably the worst one, because you cannot alternate cover, you're kind of stuck in the spot right here. So you can kind of catch them off when they're trying to get around, but that's basically all you can do. Otherwise, you kind of, well, fuck, you could say. If you're playing quad, however, you can fire from this spot, and you can then turn around and fire from this spot. Same applies for default, you can fire right here, and you also got a safe retrieve route now. So when you're playing for a retake, or when you're trying to stay alive, is you want to try to get some damage in, and then you want to kind of flash yourself out, like this, and just try to stay alive. And you fall back, and maybe your friend was also kind of staying back here at truck, and was laying down to press a fire in order to support you, or maybe he was just kind of behind fork and he fell back and he was throwing nades. So your your main goal is to deal as much damage as possible, especially like if they smoke it off like this. You know they're there and just kind of spam through the smoke, try to deal damage and then fall back. And basically what you want to do with staying alive is you want to give your teammates from the other side and mid right here, or even back at B right here, enough time to rotate over to A to play for a retake. The thing is now, if you're just holding the site, the problem is that you might not be able to deal any damage at all. Of course, you might be able to kill them all, but that's not guaranteed. So playing for a retake every now and then really makes sense, because you want to have the main the man advantage, and that's a very important thing in CS, because as long as you got more people alive than the other team, you're able to set up crossfires like this and this, which of course makes it a lot easier for you to kill the enemies instead of the enemy killing you. And that's why you basically want to stay alive and fall back. And let's say the T's are pushing out. So usually you got like one CT right here, one there, maybe one here or he's holding mid, depending on what you're playing. However, the, CT, uh, the T's when they're pushing out, they only can push out right here from a main and maybe some guys also coming out of squeaky. That's definitely a possibility. However, as you can see on the map, they got this point where they could come out and this point. Now, the thing is, when they're defending their bomb plant side right here, they're holding this angle, they're holding this angle, and this angle. So as you can see, they can come in from two, but when they're trying to defend it, they have to look for this, this, and this. So the thing is now, if you're staying alive, you're able to deal a lot of damage, because you're now able to set up multiple crossfires. One guy could be down here, Another guy could be up here, one guy comes from here, another guy from there, maybe even one comes from Squeaky. So you actually got four positions where it could kind of come in all around the site, while the T's only had like two points where they were able to enter. And if you were able to survive, your friendlies can rotate and you got a, a good retake of four or five people now. And if you all still got your nades, or at least the guys on B and mid still had, because you probably uh, used some in order to deal damage, in order to escape, you can then just kind of play for a very good retake. And this is something I do not see very often, but for some reason my team always gets like kind of the the retake thing kind of played on, so we always lose because of that. So keep in mind, if you're trying to play as a CT, try to stay alive, not just to kind of economy-wise, but also to just uh, be able to play for a good retake. Of course, they do not say that you should play for retake every time. Sometimes it's just better to hold your position and try to stay alive as long as possible, but sometimes it's even better to try to stay alive as long as possible while kind of flashing your out and just retreating in order to survive. This was kind of a bad flash, but you get the idea. So this was just a little quick tip that you should consider every now and then if you're playing and you're kind of playing passively and not very deep into sight and you got a cover where you're actually able to do this because with MBK, it's a high risk, high reward thing. You're not able to kind of retreat from here. However, if you're playing quad or default, you can kind of lay down fire and then just kind of try to run away. Maybe even again, just flash right here and then just try to get out of the zone and 
wait for teammates to rotate because then you got the man advantage and they're kind of stuck. They're kind of um, they kind of have to eat the nades and the mollies and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it's really for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and like a skill faker out.